first thing I would say is, like any of the vignettes, you should have a system for taking notes. The way I would do it is I would, on my scratch paper, as soon as I walked in, turn the computer on and the thing is going, I would quickly make a little matrix and I would start putting information from the program into my matrix, square footages or distances or important key elements, like this should have a view of that or whatever it is. This is one of the things you practice when you practice on the program. You're not just practicing using the program, you're practicing how you take notes, how you think about the notes. Everybody's gonna have a different way of doing it. Not everybody is gonna agree that you have to write out notes. I personally think it's smart. I think for most people, it's a good idea. I personally find it when you toggle back and forth between the program and the drawing page, that it sort of throws you off. It's hard to reorient yourself back into the drawing page when you do that and find your note spot that you're looking for on the other. If you're very comfortable with that, if you practice it and you realize, oh, it just takes too long for me to write anything out, well, then don't write anything out. Find the way that works for you, but have a system for how you're going to deal with all the information. It's a key aspect to kind of how you do this. It's one of those things that sounds sort of obvious to say, but if nobody said it to you, you probably wouldn't think of it that way. Each different vignette will have a different system for your note taking because there's different kinds of information that you're going to be keeping control of. Once you've sort of taken your notes, go through the entire program, take all the notes. Actually, the very first thing I would do is I'd look at the site that they give you just so you have that in your head as you're reading through. But so you look at the site, read the program, take your notes. And then first thing I would do after that is I very fast, very small thumbnail, do two, three different quick sketches that show some different possibilities about how you might attack this as a problem. So you've got a couple of ideas about how that can work. Don't spend very much time on it at all. Just do it as fast as you reasonably can. Then once you have done a couple, you choose the one that you think is the most promising, you go into sketch mode. You start putting some green lines, which are the ones that don't count. The computer won't look at them. They're only for you. And do some very quick, but to scale, Understand it, like, will this fit if I do it this way? Do I have enough room to fit the building? Do I have enough room to put a parking lot into this spot? And then once you've done that, go back to your notes and read your notes again and make sure that you haven't forgotten anything. There's a lot of little details that can show up, like the front door of the restaurant needs to be in sunlight during the day, you know, something like that. Well, once you start putting it out on the plan, you can see that very quickly and easily. So it's an easy question, but it's easy to get lost if you don't go back and force yourself to do that. And you just won't know until you test it out on the site. You won't know if your sketch was correct. Once you've sort of gone through that, that shouldn't take very long. That's very, very fast we're talking about. Just like quick ideas and then quick sketch lines. Go back to the notes, make sure you haven't forgotten anything, and then just dive in and start doing it. The reason that you go through that process is that if you start putting things in, and then down the road realize it's not going to work, it's very disconcerting if you're, you know, 40 minutes in and now you're like erasing everything and starting from scratch. You want to have that moment early with a sketch, not deep in with all the actual pieces in the actual vignette. So logical organization. Blackspectacles.com is the home of online learning for architecture and design. You can go to blackspectacles.com, kind of get a taste of this online ARE prep curriculum we built with AI Chicago and Mike, covering all seven sections of the exam. And there are free tutorials in every one of those courses. As a part of today's session, you're eligible for coupon codes for your ARE membership. 15% off the monthly membership and 30% off an annual membership all through the end of the month. And we're doing group memberships. So if you want to get one for your firm or if you want your firm to buy one for you, you can go to blackspectacles.com slash business or just email me. We're running a promotion again where business memberships are 15% off as well. Our next webinar is going to be different. What we're going to do is we're going to sort of have a no holds barred Q&A session with Mike. It's not specific to an exam. Whatever exam you're working on, you have a question, you've tried to solve a vignette and you don't like your answer, you're unsure about your answer, put it in a PDF and email it to me. And what we'll do is we're just going to take them first come first serve and everyone who submits them will take an hour and Mike will answer them one after the other. So it'll be a cool event because if you actually have a question, you can get a real answer. And if you just want to see what other people are kind of wrestling with, it'd be a great way to learn from other people's questions and problems and so on. So that's going to be on April 22nd.